Welcome back to uh, another uh, fucking review on this damn channel. We're going to be doing Creep 2. The return of Joseph or Aaron because he identif identi identifies himself as Aaron in this movie. Which, he just puts, he just tells people his random name. Like, I don't even know if his name is Joseph or Aaron. It could be fucking Michael or Sean for all I fucking know. But he returns, um, whatever, how, however multiple names he fucking has. And this fucking girl, um, Sarah, um, she does this show called Encounters for YouTube. And she gets this, um, thing for need videographer, whatever you want to fucking call it. And in the first one, it said, um, man dying of cancer, and he wants to record his final moments, which I explained in the first Creep review. So, she goes, and they have the interview, and he's saying, I'm a psycho serial killer, I killed 39 victims, and, um, I don't know if I like doing it anymore, and she's like, huh, okay. Literally, if you if you literally went to his house and uh he said that, would you leave? Because I'd be like, nah bro, I'm out. I'm out and he literally he this he's so fucking weird in this damn movie, like it's so disturbing, like literally. He talks about um he killed this guy and he laid naked with his dead body. They were both naked. It's just so fucking weird. And another part where um, he's he comes downstairs with a towel and oh my god I would never thought in a million years that I would ever see a man's penis in a fucking horror movie. But he literally says I want to see you naked. He literally takes off and he shows his small dick. I don't know if that's real Mark Duplass's dick, but it's fucking small. But I ain't judging. That's what I'm like it's small, but. Then she gets naked, but they don't show her, you know what, her, her vagina. But they show her titties. But they're fucking small, too. And, I guess, um, he has this, he shows her, um, well, they go to this fucking, I don't know what you call it, river, lake, um, forest. And, um. He was trying to do a Jesus thing, or he's talking about something. And there was supposed to be water that was really high, and he was supposed to be floating in it. And there's a bridge above them, he was supposed to jump off that. And, but he does it, he keeps getting interrupted by a bird. And then he finally snaps, he starts throwing rocks at the bird. And then he just runs away. Sarah's looking for him, and she cannot find him, but he's literally laying down there. He's either sleeping, or whatever the fuck he's doing. And then, another part where, um, it's so fucking weird, man, but he's wearing his peach fuzz mask, and he's like, I'm gonna cut off your head and snuggle fuck it at the end of the road. Ugh. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What kind of fucking sick fuck does that? And he finally shows the tape where he kills Aaron, or if even Aaron, his, um, that guy's name that he killed. But he says he's my best friend, and he sings a song for some fucking reason, but he literally shows the recording, and she doesn't believe it's real. But, like, what, like... How do you think that's fucking fake? Like, literally. If that was real life, there's no fake blood or anything. Like, literally. Then, I guess, um, at nighttime, he gets this cool idea where, um, he will die, and he's so excited about it, where, like, for no fucking reason, like, why would you get excited over this bullshit, right? If she's gonna end up killing you. So, he gets this idea where, um, she would chop off his head. And, 
um, she can't do it because I guess she doesn't want to hurt him and she's not a sick fuck like him. And he got another idea where he hangs himself. And he has that, like, I don't fucking know. Later, he, he, it revealed that he had, like, this thing to save him from choking. But she's going to leave and get to another part where they play true, two lies, one truth, or whatever the fuck you call it. And I was like, um, I never had my first kiss. And then they kiss. Then you have this whole hot tub scene where, um, I don't know, Sarah loves Juicy, I don't fucking know, but then she starts rubbing him and shit, that's like, couple, that's like a far back, but I'm just gonna say that, um, then they finally go to the woods, well, they first play hide and seek, then they go to the woods, then he dug this big ass fucking hole, which will be, um, I guess, a grave for either one of them. But turns out, um, it's gonna be for both of them because he says, um, you're gonna stab me and you're gonna stab yourself so we can both die in this hole. And he's like, fuck that. She takes the knife and runs off with it. And, um,. I guess he ends up finding her. But first he stabs he stabs himself. But he ends up kill well not basically killing her. But you turn out when um he ends up stabbing her, she's not really dead. And she comes out of the fucking hole and literally cocks him on the head. If you know what I mean, like, grabs the shovel and, like, hit him really hard in the fucking head. I don't know, I, I know that you can, cut, you can get in a deep coma from that, or a concussion, but I guess I can knock you out. I guess you can bleed and die from that, but it might take a while. And then, you get the last, um, scene where Sarah's walking in the fucking... I don't know what you call it, but it's a video recording, and she gets on the subway train, and, um, turns out, um, Joseph or Aaron was following her, that's why the camera pinned down, or that wasn't him, but in my mind, um, he can still be alive, though, so... Will there be a Creep 3? I don't fucking know. But. This concludes. I feel like his story's done here at this point. But. I'd like to see him return. Because he's literally 40. He's almost 40 in this movie. He doesn't want to make this movie. His last film as him killing another victim. But. I don't fucking know. He might return. But. Hope there will be a creep three because this one was good. This first one was really fucking good. But yeah. Uh my review on creep two. It was good. Bomb um, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all. I guess.